Good day guys, and welcome back to Austash Studio. Hope you're having a great Thursday afternoon. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best MBM providers recommended by Netflix. Now also, we are gonna be talking about ADSL, DSL, and wireless, which is obviously the best for Netflix. Now, we're gonna be talking in peak time, so this time can be around 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. with NBN and you are gonna see pretty low speeds right here, but this is the best recommendation uh, MBM providers that Netflix does recommend. Now, one other thing that we will talk about with the speeds when you are trying to watch Netflix, if you're wanting to watch SD video, you need around three megabits per second, and if you're trying to watch HD video, you need around five megabits per, per second, and for 4K, you can get, four, 4K for me runs around 15, uh, megabits but netflix recommends 23 megabits for 4k content all right guys so let's get all into it and tell you all the recommended speeds that are um, netflix that has recorded in the month of december let's get into it so you'll see the different mbm ones right here so as you see you see telstra mbm mbn and then you see optus mbm but also if we get um, lower down the page you'll see Optus non MBN, and Telstra non MBN, and My Republic non MBN. And we're going to tell you what that means a little bit later through the video. But first of all, we're going to start at the top list, which is going to be obviously under rank one, and that is going to be Telstra MBN. What sort of speed that you are looking to get. Now, to avoid confusion, now, just say you do a speed test and say 30 megabits per second. Okay, sometimes uh, it, that could be right, yeah. But when you use Netflix, and I believe on some remotes, if you hit the info button, at the top corner, you'll see how much megabits Netflix is using. And normally I find it never goes over 16 megabits, and it, sometimes, yeah, it'll run around five megabits uh, and four megabits and so on, even if you've got a 30 megabit connection. So I think that's how this is working right here, because these are pretty low speeds. Even through that time, um, so 7 to 11 p.m. Uh, these speeds are pretty low. Now again, this does depend on what MBN you're on. Um, there's a lot of different MBNs. There's obviously the MBN, MBN 10, um, MBN 25, MBN 50, and MBN 100. Uh, all depends on what MBN you are on to get these speeds. Obviously, if you're on MBN 100, you've got a better chance of getting really high internet speed. But again, in peak time, because if you're in a big city, you are sharing all that with your people everyone in your neighborhood and that's why your internet would slow down and that's why it slows down between 7 and 11 p.m. Okay, so let's start over with Telstra MBN, how fast that Netflix has logged the internet for Telstra MBN. So Telstra MBN will be around, um, so the megabits you'll be looking at is 4.82 megabits per second, which again, that is great. You'll be able to run, definitely you'll be able to have HD content and you'll be able to run SD content right there. Now, you may find that Netflix says to be able to watch HD content, you need at least five megabits. That's not necessarily true. I've found that you can watch HD content and around three and a half megabits per second, you can easily achieve uh, uh, 1080p content right there. And if you want SD, the lowest that I found in Twitch is really bad. Anything under two megabits, anything under there, you're gonna start to see the little red circle. It just goes around and around and around and never ends. So you keep that in mind. So if you've got anything between, if you're looking at the top thing here, like um, like the Telstra MBN speed, if you've got something like that, you should be pretty fine. You shouldn't get any lag or anything like that at all. Now let's go to Optus MBN, which is a little bit slower. So we're looking at four point uh, four, uh, seven, four megabits per second. For Aussie broadband, we are going to be looking at 4.63 megabits per second. IINET MBN is 4.60 megabits per second. TPG is obviously 4.57 megabits per second. And then we've got um, your Telstra non-MBN, which is 4.5 uh, megabits per second. Uh, then we've got Exitel, which is, now, one more thing that I forgot to mention. Now, as you see how it says non-MBN, you're probably wondering what does that mean? So basically, what non-MBN will mean? It will either mean cable, or it will mean 
um, ADSL, DSL, ADSL2+, plus, stuff like that. Okay, that's what that means right there. And if you look over to it, you'll see what it means um, here. So it will show right there. So that's what non-MBM will mean. And if the provider does say something different, so My Republic, so My Republic non-MBM, what are they saying? So yes, they're saying only, they're not including cable, they're only including um, ADSL, DSL, and ADSL2+. Plus. Okay, so let's go back up to, um, I believe we were at um, Exadel. So we'll go back to that one. So Exadel is 4.47 uh, megabits per second. And that is obviously for MBN. Then we've got Dodo, which is going to be for, doesn't include cable, and doesn't include satellite, and that's uh, 4.32 megabits per second. Uh, My Republic MBN is 4.29 megabits per second. And obviously Vodafone, uh, 4.24 megabits per second. Opta's non-MBM, so we'll just check what that actually includes. So that is going to be a cable and ADSL uh, there and DSL and so on. And that is going to be uh, 4.23 megabits per second. Then you got IINET non-MBM, which is 4.19 megabits per second. And that actually includes only um, DSL and ADSL. TPG non-MBN is 4.17 megabits per second. That only includes ADSL and DSL. Same as My Republic, ADSL and DSL. And that, that is the far lowest. So if you've got My Republic and you're using ADSL or DSL there, um, it is the slowest you could ever get. And honestly, I would recommend you change or you could wait until you get MBN because MBN and My Republic is actually far higher. So you're looking at four, um, 0.29 megabits per second. However, if you're with ADSL, you're looking at 3.36 megabits per second. So yeah, very slow right there. And this gives you a general idea of what sort of speed you're looking up in peak time. It'd be very interesting what you guys think down below. Let us know. If you were a bit confused um, with what I was saying, um, let us know down below as well. And did you find this video helpful? So yeah, I just want to just make a little bit of an idea of what um, ISPs that Netflix um, does recommend. And at the moment, they do obviously um, recommend Telstra uh, MBN right there because that is the highest at the moment. But honestly, if you ever are trying to work out what internet provider you were trying to get, which one's the best, which one's more reliable, in my opinion, I find it's really good to avoid MBN. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's a bit insane because MBN is pretty speedy if you're on MBN hungry. And the most part it is. But when you look at 4G, especially with Optus, you can get 500 gig um, for about 68 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, that honestly does it for me, and it's really fast. So I look at about 50 megabits. It never goes below 50 megabits. The only issue with 4G is you need to make sure you're in an available area, and if you're not, it won't be fast. So that's one issue that you do face with 4G right there. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. And if you've got any questions, let us know down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching All Star. To maintain our high standards, feel free to let us know if the audio was too quiet or if the picture were significantly hard to see. We always appreciate your feedback. Alternatively, you can contact our main office at support at gbtnetgo.com. We're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sydney Standard Time. You can always contact us if something in the video was significantly incorrect. Thanks again for watching All Star. Bye for now and have a great evening.